My heart is filled with so much joy to welcome you fellow Kingdom citizens and potential dominators of the world to another life transforming episode from the Empowerment Module. As we always do before delving into the message for the day, please let's do a quick recap of the previous episode. Now in the previous episode, the message was, connectedness to God is what matters. And it was underscored by the fact that every living thing finds life when connected to its source. We did also learn that the productivity of any living thing is manifested in the fact that it is connected to its source. Therefore, mankind can only manifest his or her role of influencing the systems of the world when he or she is connected to the source. Now, in today's episode of the Empowerment Module, we shall be dealing with the topic, it is important to look to the inventor rather than the invention. I repeat, it is important to look to the inventor rather than the invention. Let me thus say with confidence that it can never be concluded anywhere that an invention is more important than the inventor or a product more important than the manufacturer. Consequently, it is imperative to admit that God, who is our very inventor, deserves the central role or place in our respective lives than we giving his other inventions the prominent place in our lives. There are far too many people who have wild dreams and ambitions of making persuasive and vociferous impact in diverse fields of life, but wrongfully turn to the Creator's inventions for assistance rather than staying cemented to the inventor himself. Anybody who wants to achieve success or be influential in any regard must turn to God who is the ultimate inventor for his or her life. Let's read the text in Romans chapter 1, verses the number 21. The Bible reads, For although they knew God, they neither glorified him as God, nor gave thanks to him. But their thinking became futile, and their foolish hearts were darkened. When we look at the invention rather than the inventor, we miss the mark and we become depraved. As a matter of fact, we give up our true purpose in exchange for something that may jeopardize our true purpose. However, when we look to our inventor, we get to know the true and real intent and purpose for every facet of our lives and the main purpose for creating each of us. A lot of lives have been destroyed because the focus of the people in question shifted from the Creator to His creation. When focus shifts from the inventor to the inventions, destruction becomes the next best destination. You may have placed all your focus on God. However, your present situation and state in life may not be what and where you expect to be. I want to assure you that he is in charge. God has a reason for passing you through that stage and phase of life. That is to assure you that your present state is just a leverage for your greater destination. From our scriptural text in Romans chapter 1 verse 21, we learn that we must not seek God to acknowledge and honor him but we must know of him to glorify and to honor him. Thus, having not seen God before is not an excuse for keeping out from him as others do. It is important to appreciate the fact that he is the creator of our lives, he has the manual for our lives, and he has the knowledge for the purpose and intent for creating us. If we give the Creator the place He deserves in our lives, He will put us in the places that we desire and deserve in life. Maybe you have listened to today's message and you desire to start everything afresh and to look up to God for everything. As simple as that is, it all starts with giving your life to Jesus Christ. 
The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 10 that for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Therefore, please say these words after me to give your life to Jesus Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. I thank you for dying on the cross just to save me from destruction. Today I have made the best decision to give my life to you, to allow you to have dominion in my life, and to stay in deep connection and relationship with you. Come and live in my heart and guide my ways. In Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Congratulations, congratulations, and congratulations. You are now a born-again Christian. The next thing to do is to find a Bible-believing church to join and to build a Christian family. From there, you will be taken through Bible lessons in order to enhance your spiritual growth. It is an honor to have you joining the Grace Archery Global Foundation in this powerful and life-transforming module. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification button so that you can have notification when we do post new content. And do follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Please be expectant as we come your way with another life-transforming message next week. Be sure not to miss out as we endeavor to learn together for domination. Please share the link to this channel with friends and family and let's learn together and transform ourselves for dominion together. My name is Derek Ankwana Kujo, the founder and president of Grace Archery Global Foundation. And in this empowerment module platform, the slogan is always empowering and transforming ourselves for domination. Let's keep working to meet ourselves at the top. Be blessed.